I'm Jeff Alpin, The Big Game Hunter. I coach people and organizations to be more effective. And most of the time I'm working with job hunters, helping them in their careers, helping them with a transition or with a job change. I also work with organizations to help them be more effective with recruiting and to work with individual people who've been targeted as leaders or with leadership potential. Now, a week or so ago, I did a video called Faking Interviews. And the conclusion of that was phone interviews should die a natural death. Because what it seems is starting to happen is that individuals are stepping in and doing the phone interviews for someone else. I pointed out a video on YouTube where someone was being interviewed and it's a Skype interview and it's very clear that he's attempting to move his lips in sync with the person who's speaking for him who's actually answering the questions but of course because the interviewer can see this and frankly the person although was speaking softly could be heard the interview is brought to an abrupt halt now some people messaged me privately to say this is an obviously an unusual thing it's not the norm but i'm going to point out that i'm going to beg to differ and i'm going to say to you that someone messaged me through linkedin and i just want to bring their notes on my screen so they wrote to me the video was really good i wanted to share a few recent activities that are happening post clearing fake interviews catch this one people are being hired after the fake interviews the candidates that clear the interviews after joining the respective organizations are indeed unable to work now catch this one now this is a technology guy um, and what happens is he writes they contact the consultancy who helped them get the fake interview and then these consultancies also get ghost workers for these candidates catch that one folks there are people who ghost for these individuals these ghost workers are the people sitting somewhere uh, outside of the u.s and for little money would help these candidates clear their regular tasks Basically, the candidates share their desktop, there's no, uh, no, no NDA signed here, and let the offshore ghost worker handle their regular assignments for an hour or two and somehow get safe from being caught. I'm not sure if you already know this, uh, but, some, but he says, some consultancy recently contacted me to be a ghost worker for an employee. I rejected the contract, but then I got to know from a few friends that this is a big scam already going on. And basically what this person had happened was they were contacted about a remote position. <laughs> so they thought they were doing good stuff, but in effect, they learned after the fact about this really being ghosted work for someone else. So they didn't want to post this themselves because he didn't want his current employer to find out that he was looking for another job. But notice this scenario. A person was able to get a job because someone pretended to be them on phone interviews. Then from there, they start the new job, can't perform. They have someone remote into their system to do the work. Well, they are sitting there because they have to create the impression that they are working there. The other person does this, does the work, and do you really like that? Is that really what you were contracting for when you brought on that person? You know, consulting firms appear to be doing this with regularity. You are far better off if you are interviewing people by video, if you're bringing on consultants, or full-time people because remember sometimes you're doing phone interviews with full-time employees and you may be meeting them but why waste the time 
you can see that they can't perform just by looking for the lip sync and listening for the answers. Um, unfortunately, this seems to be more pervasive than most of us thought it was, and it needs to be brought to an end. So I want to give you a heads up if you didn't know about this. I'm going to have a link to my original video uh, in the show notes. That, vi that link will also have a link to the original video of someone being Skype interviewed. So follow the sequence of things. I hope you give it a thumbs up. I hope you put an end to the practice and you find services that will allow you to do video interviewing that you're comfortable with. I'm not going to give you a recommendation because I don't want you thinking that I'm shilling for one of these firms. So hope you found this helpful. And again, if you're interested in my helping from a coaching perspective, I no longer do recruiting. I did it for a long time, but don't do that work anymore. I do career and leadership coaching. If that's of interest to you or your organization, reach out to me through LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash the big game hunter. Mention that you saw the video because I just like happy to know I'm, I'm helping some folks. And in addition, if I could, uh, and once we're connected, message me that you're interested in coaching. We'll do a quick discovery call where we can see if it makes sense. Hope you have a great day. Take care.